Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Uh, so now that we've got ourselves a miter crosscut sled, which I will put a link to the uh, video for that down in the description there that we made last time, we're going to use it to try and batch out some little boxes for market tables and Christmas gifts if they don't sell at the market table. Uh, right on. So let's get milling up some wood and uh, hopefully this can go relatively quick now that I've got that, uh, that sled. So, mitered box day. Let's go. All right. So, once again, we start by going through the wood. Uh, digging through a bunch of uh, pallet chunks this time, actually. A buddy of mine uh, was tearing down pallets at his work and found some that were actually made out of some decent looking hardwood, he thought. So, he chopped them up and brought them over to me to see if I could do anything with them. And then, of course, you gotta mill it down get it all straight and square and flat and good jointer planer back to the jointer to do one edge to ride against the table saw fence and then over to the table saw which is where we go next and then we uh, wasn't really concerned about getting a consistent width here uh, just getting as much wood as I could out of these uh, pieces of pallet then we got to put on the uh, the crosscut blade. I don't always switch out for a different blade when I'm doing crosscuts, but this time I wanted it to be as neat and tidy as I could get it. So put on the crosscut blade and tilt it to 45. Get the crosscut sled on there and start batching out pieces. Uh, they were all about four inches or so, because that's what I could get out of these pieces of wood. I could get four, four-ish inch pieces out of each of these pieces of wood. So that's what I did. And once I got all my pieces cut out at 45s, I could set the blade to just a little bit above the table and give myself a little groove to put the tops and bottoms of these boxes in, which I'm using uh, eighth inch mahogany door skin plywood stuff that I've got left over. Uh, so measure the inside groove, set the stop block back up, grab some, uh, some door skin, and make ourselves a nice little square and we're gonna go test it before I start making a ton of them so we uh, put one in the grooves make sure that the box is gonna go together nice if they're all that size which they were they did it would whatever you get me and then I can start cutting them out and nine boxes I need 18 of these things I actually did I think I was gonna do 11 boxes but two of them broke at various points in time throughout the process. Uh, one of them I broke the stupid little brass screw off in the hole, and another one actually just kind of snapped uh, while I was putting it together. So, But the rest of them went together good. Just used some blue painter's tape to clamp the mitered corners together. And then I can, once the glue is dried, I can take it back over the table saw on my spline jig and start putting little spline channels in it. I'll put a link to uh, the David Picciuto video uh, for this jig in case you're interested in making one. And more spline channels, more spline channels. It's a relatively quick process when you got all the jigs set up to make it go. And uh, I found a piece of scrap boobinga laying around, so that's what I made my splines out of. I cut one and uh, make sure that it's going to fit nice and snug into those spline channels, uh, which it did. I think I, it was my second one, actually, that I got fit and snug. And then I could rip a bunch more. You need a bunch of spline stock when you're making a batch of boxes. Um, but, again, it goes pretty quick once you got it dialed in. Then you get the crosscut sled going and just cut them all down to little bits because that's what you need for splines, you need little bits. And then you can put some glue on them and tap them into the corners. And uh, you end up with a big mess of boxes with splines in it. But it actually makes for really strong reinforced miters. And a nice little decorative uh, touch, I like to think. Um, yeah, they look good when they're all done. I need to cut off the extra bits of the splines. I just used the bandsaw here before taking it over to the uh, oscillating belt sander and getting it flushed up 
and do the initial sanding. I don't even know what that belt is that comes on the spindle or the oscillating belt sander. It's got to be pretty heavy grit though. It's probably like 80 grit or something. Then cut the tops off and then just clean up the edge, those edges by taking one little more nudge of wood off of them so that they sit nice and flat and register good against each other. Then you can get to sanding. Uh, I went up to, I think I only went up to about 150 grit on all of these, but it's a lot of messing around. Sanding It's the bane of every woodworker's existence. Yo, that was really hard to say. The bane of every woodworker's existence, pretty much. Uh, and then I put the little butterfly hinges on it, gave it one more. Uh, that's probably 180 grit, just to get it nice and smooth. And then I sprayed them all with... Uh, can of rattle lacquer. Did that and then I opened them up and did another coat like that and then I closed them back up and did another coat like I did the first one. And uh, then you can finish the finish by I think that's like 400 or 600 grit sandpaper just to smooth out the finish. Tack cloth to get all the bits and then put the little uh, latch back on. We're all done. That's it that's all. Nine pack of boxes. Well, there we go. We got ourselves a nine pack of little four inch boxes out of, uh, well, to be honest, it was old pallets, actually, and uh, some scrap uh, boobinga that was in the load of wood that I got off Facebook Marketplace a little while ago. And I totally forgot that I have a market tomorrow when I was making these. I was thinking about having them ready for the market at the end of the month, and... I forgot that I had one two weeks before that, but I got them done in time. They came together pretty quick, thanks to uh, Miter Sled. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make yourself some boxes. Grab some scrap wood. Make stuff out of it. It's fun. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to bed. I got a market tomorrow. I hit my knee on a hold fast. Ow. Hmm.